SPY or SPLG, which is a better investment for you? Many people are familiar with SPY. It's the most widely traded ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index. SPY is an S&P 500 index ETF, which tracks the 500 largest US listed companies. So what exactly is SPLG? SPLG is known as a Spider Portfolio S&P 500 ETF. Basically, SPLG also tracks the S&P 500 index. It's another ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index. The biggest difference between SPY and SPLG is the price per share. As of this video, SPY is trading around $400 per share, and SPLG is trading around $48 per share. For small investors, SPLG is more attractive because you get more shares even though it doesn't make a real difference. In the past 5 years, both SPY and SPLG have appreciated about the same. That minor difference is based on the amount each is traded and variances in price. They both track the same thing. And besides, with fractional shares a thing now, you can buy a fraction of one share of SPY if you wanted to. Another big difference is how liquid each ETF is. Liquidity is basically how much a stock is traded. The more liquid, the fairer price you'll get for buying and selling that stock. SPY trades almost 50 times that of SPLG. There's just more people buying and selling SPY. And then there's the expense ratio. ETFs are created and managed by companies. SPY and SPLG are both managed by State Street Global Advisors. Just about every ETF charges a yearly fee. It's a small percentage. SPY has a higher expense ratio of 0.09% per year. SPLG has an expense ratio of 0.03% per year. If you don't have much to invest, the difference isn't really an issue. A $50,000 portfolio would be a difference of $45 versus $15 per year. Expense ratios become an issue if you have millions invested. $300 million would be the difference between $90,000 versus $270,000. When it comes to dividend yield, the difference is also quite small. SPLG has a higher dividend yield at 1.48% per year, while SPY has it at 1.42% per year. On a $1 million account, that's only a difference of $600 per year in dividends. Sure, SPLG looks more appealing because the price per share is smaller than SPY, but that's about it. The only things SPLG has going for it is a slightly higher dividend yield, and a smaller expense ratio. Other than that, those wins don't add up to making SPLG a better investment than SPY. So what are your thoughts? Do you own SPLG or any S&P 500 index ETF? Comment below. And as always, take care of your money.